So if you ever graded a card or bought a PSA graded card and realized that the grade it has is not necessarily what it looks like it should have been, that's happened a lot to me in the past. I've always wondered, you know, what if I snap those cards out? How will they come back? So today we're going to try that. With PSA's $15 grading at the time, I felt like this was a really good time to try this out because if I could pay $15 with the chance of jumping a card from an 8 to a 9 or a 9 to a 10, I mean, that could be hundreds of dollars difference, especially with the cards I'm sending today. So I hope you guys enjoy and learn something today. I know I definitely did. And I'm going to be honest, these grades are very surprising. All right, so today we're going to be snapping open four cards, three of which I graded myself um, and then one that I bought off of eBay. First, we have a gold refractor at a 199 for Tom Brady. Uh, then we also have an own the game refractor. These are out of 100 for Tom Brady. Next, we have a green refractor out of Bowman Chrome. Uh, these are out of 99. And then finally, this one I picked up recently, a camel refractor at 2013 Finest. Looks super clean. I'm seeing very, very minor corner issues uh, that probably got the eight. I'm going to crack all of these and see if we can get better grades like I mentioned in the intro. Uh, so let's get started. So there's a few things you're going to need here before we get started. Uh, so you're going to need some sort of pliers or something to cut open the case. As you can see, I have literally the crappiest um, old rusty pliers, but they'll do the trick here. And then you want a flathead screwdriver. So I have one here, um, again, rusty old, and then a small one to help at the end. So I'm by no means an expert here, but I'm just going to step through the process so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I start with the gold Brady. Again, high dollar cards. So we got to be careful here. Um, so we're going to start with the corner. We snap the corner. Uh, the biggest thing is to just crack it right here. Get a nice big chunk out if you can. So take both hands, look away. You can kind of hear it going. So you kind of see I'm getting some chunks out of it there. Biggest thing is you're going to cut a piece off so you can get the flathead in there. And again, I'm probably not doing this better than what you see online, but this is just going to show the adventure I have doing this. So you got the flathead space open in here so we can now get the screwdriver in here. So start with the small one here. I think I see a little gap in there. All right, so I'm gonna record some of this commentary after the fact. Uh, you do not wanna hear me swearing up a storm when I was struggling with this. Um, but moral of the story here, I'm getting the flathead in the top. You're just trying to widen it out so you can get the card out. Um, you can see I realized that I need to move to the side after a little bit here. Um, you can't always just pry it from the top, and you want to make sure you get the card out without damaging it, obviously. Um, so I do get it successfully. No cards were harmed in the making of this video. Um, and as you can see, the card turned out looking very, very crisp. Um, really, again, did not see anything wrong with it, which was my original notes from the first time I sent it. Um, maybe slight off-centering, but, you know, it still has a shot of a 10, so we'll see how we do on this one. So as you can see here, I move on to the Own the Game Refractor. Uh, this one was also not terrible. Also, shout out to how the card went flying after I got the corner. Um, but I was able to get it pretty easily on this one. Uh, I did have to use a flathead, the bigger one. Um, realized that helped get that end portion done easier. Um, and when I do get the card out, you'll notice I set aside the label on the top. Um, so that's just because you can send it back to PSA to have them remove the card from the pop report. Um, so in a future order, I'll send all these um, labels back to PSA just so they remove it. Uh, just an FYI too, this one looked clean as heck. Um, did not see anything wrong with it, just like the gold. I think it does still have a shot at a 10, so we'll see how we do. So now I moved on to the green Bowman. Um, right when I got to this one, I realized I got a little cocky. This one was hard as hell to get open, so I'm moving very quick here, five times speed for you guys. I had to do both corners, still didn't really work. Um, I was thinking, oh my gosh, am I going to have to just have a messed up slab forever? Uh, but did get it out. It really did not want to come out. And then I realized why. Um, so in the top right corner, it actually has an indent. And I think I missed that when I first sent it. Um, so I snapped it. And I'm, at this point, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, dude, there's no shot at a 10 on that card. Um, so we'll see how we do. Hopefully, we can get a 9 again on that one. So now we get to the camo refractor. And thankfully, this one was the easiest of all three. Um, didn't struggle as much with this one. And when I did get it out, I realized that I had a good hunch on this one. I'm very lucky I snapped it because... There's only slight corner whitening. Besides that, the front looks great. I mean, there's some minor scratching in the bottom right, I believe. We'll see if I zoom in on it in a second here. Um, but other than that, I think this one is a really great candidate for regrading. So as you saw in the intro, I snapped out four PSA graded cards and sent them back to get regraded. Uh, let's just say the results are kind of crazy. They're definitely not what I expected. So it is about a month later. I, as you can see in front of me, I have them in my possession. Um, I will go through the rest of the order. There's about 10 other cards. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. And I did want to mention at the end of the video, I will do a recap kind of what my takeaway is from this and you know whether I'll try this again in the future. Um, because ultimately, you guys have to tell me, was this worth it or not? I think it was. 
Um, but again, you're gonna see the grades and kind of decide for yourselves. All right, so first up, we have three cards that I actually sold already because of PSA's new scans. Um, when the order completes, I can get everything listed up before I even have the cards in hand, which is really nice. Uh, so first of all, we did have a Jalen Hurts Purple Shock. Um, this one was a card show buy. I bought it for about 40, if I remember right. Um, this was before the playoffs. Just knew he was going to be in the playoffs. Card looks super clean. I took it out of the top loader. Um, that's kind of my strategy for card shows. And then I sold it for about 205. So nice profit there. Some eBay fees will come into play. Uh, but still nice money to put back into my collection at the end of the day. And then the two others that sold, I'll throw up right here. Um, so I had a two at Tag of Iloa. Another one where it was looked clean. I ended up getting a nine. Not a card I want to hold on to with his injury history, but um, something I can get up online and someone else who's interested can pick that up. So they bought it for about 55, if I remember right. Um, you guys will see right here. And then also sold a Peyton Manning Black Refractor. So again, you're probably wondering, you know, why doesn't he keep the Peyton Manning? Uh, the Black Refractors I'm not sold on yet. I want to complete some other sets first. Uh, they are numbered out of 299, so they will pop up again. Um, that's kind of my thought process. So somebody else got a great deal here. And, you know, I'll go back and collect these at some point in the future. But for now, I'm going to target the golds. All right, so we'll jump right into the rest of the cards. Uh, so we have a Peyton Manning Tops Finest Gold Refractor. So if you know me, this is a huge addition to my collection. Um, been on the hunt for one of these for a while. 2005 and 2006 are notoriously hard to find. Uh, this one's numbered out of 49. I dig in eight. You can kind of see why. So it's off center. You can see kind of the thickness right here and then kind of thin from the black to the edge. Um, then also corners were a little rounded, so you can see up there white. Uh, so eight is very deservedly so. Um, we'll not be snapping this one and sending it back like I did some of the other cards, but a nice, nice addition to the collection and one that literally you will never um, find if you're looking. It just randomly will pop up one day like it did for me and I grabbed it. So a nice hit there. Um, I'll actually put these here so you can see the spread. Then the next one here. So this uh, is another big one. And if you're not familiar with this, set this is again 2006 this is 2005 my favorite designs and this is the black x fractor so i bought it from the same guy as the gold i thought it was super clean outside of you can see the print line so you can see right horizontally across there's that line and then up um, so those should not be there if it was a perfect card so very valid to get a nine here uh, numbered out of 25 absolutely huge addition to my collection so this one i'll be locking away with my gold um, putting together Hopefully a collection of all the Peyton Manning, the cool refractors and stuff that I want, and then ultimately try to pair them up with Tom Brady. Um, if you follow the channel again, you know that already. Um, but to the Tom Brady ones are notoriously a lot harder to find and much more expensive when you do find them. So next we have a Peyton Gold Refractor. This was raw off of eBay. Um, I think I'll throw the listing here so you guys can see. It was listed as a copper refractor, which is incorrect. Um, so I saw the numbering was out of 199 the listing. Coppers, I think, are four or something, 429 maybe. And so I grabbed it right away, got a crazy deal on it, graded, got a 10. Um, I mean, it's just crazy. And it wasn't, uh, what do you say? Um, it wasn't sealed in its tops case because the golds typically are sealed and they come, you know, um, uncirculated. This one was not, and it still got a 10, which goes to show you the gems are out there. Uh, this one actually is a duplicate for me. So this is the example where it's a card that I would collect, but. Um, at the end of the day, I don't need two of them, right? I mean, maybe it, it'd be kind of cool to have a couple, but I'm going to throw this one on eBay. Um, just see if I can get anyone to bite. And, you know, it's a nice addition for somebody else because, again, I have I have one. I don't need two. Um, I think it's only like a pop 11, so there's not a ton of them out there in a 10. So that's a nice hit there. And next, just uh, Purple Refractor, Peyton Manning. Uh, these, again, kind of fit the boat of the Black Refractor where they're numbered out of 555 here, but just not quite um, rare enough for me to go after it yet. Um, you know, once I get the golds, then I'll probably go after some of these other ref refractor and parallel types. It's just, I know I can find this one again. So I'll keep, you know, grading and then selling to someone else for their collection. And then I'll buy a rarer one once I sell a couple um, more common refractors. That's kind of what I do. All right. Next, we have another gold refractor, Peyton Manning. I promise there's other players in this. Uh, it says the PSA 9 out of 50 gold refractor, Tops Chrome. Um, so funny enough, while this was off, I did get a 10. I picked up a 10 um, from a friend on Instagram. Uh, so I actually, this is another duplicate. So same idea, throw this on my eBay store and let it sit for a while if it has to. Um, otherwise, it's always great trade bait too. You know, I'm thinking ahead to the national convention. If I happen to still have these, uh, you know, perfect cards to approach a dealer with to trade for, you know, maybe Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, that kind of stuff. All right. So next uh, we have a PSA 6. And you're probably thinking, what the heck, dude, what are you doing? Um, so you'll see exactly why right here. Uh, it's kind of hard to see there. Let's see. Um, so you can see there's like a, a crack right there in the card. Um, so 
When I bought the card, it went through, I believe, I don't want to throw eBay under the bus, but I think it was in the eBay authentication program. Um, and this got passed through, so I couldn't return it. Um, fortunately, kind of stuck with it. I didn't feel like I could justifiably sell this with that condition. Um, you know, I might get a return or somebody who's upset, even if I, you know, throw it in the description. But still, really cool gold prism insert. I know the PSA 6 is there, but do I care when it's out of 10? I don't know. Um, obviously, I'd prefer a 10, but still a very, very cool card. And great eye appeal outside of that, right? Like you could see chipping sometimes, but this looks really clean. Uh, so nice card for the collection. And another set where um, Tom Brady is in this, I believe. Uh, so it'll be cool to pair these up one day, hopefully. But again, uh, got to be rich first before I can get the Tom Brady that card. All right, and then here's our first one that got snapped and regraded. So guys, when I saw this, this was the first one, you know, on the list. I was like, oh man, you dumb, you dummy. Like you are totally screwed this up. Uh, so this was a nine, if you recall. You saw me snap it out a few minutes ago. Um, I got an eight. And, you know, on the one hand, right, a little disappointed. Other hand, good for you, PSA, because genuinely, I think this is an eight. I snapped it out, you know, thinking it had a shot at a 10. I realized after the fact that that was a big mistake. Um, so it's hard to see, but on the back side, um, I, it's very tough. But right there, there's actually indents, like indents in the card. Um, so this is out of 99, you can see right there. But yeah, indents in the card. I, you know, it, it was a nine, and I think it, that's probably where it puts on the border of an eight or nine. But like I said, if I bought this card in a 10 or a nine and I saw that, I would be thinking, you know, what what the heck, why is that a nine or a 10? So the fact that it's an eight, I understand why that happened. Um, again, am I happy that I sent it from a nine, got an eight? No, but it's a good learning experience. Now I see that you really, really, really have to be sure, right? Like just because I wrote on my pre-grade sheet on a few orders ago, oh, I think this is a nine or a 10, doesn't mean I can't make a mistake, and that's what happened here. Um, so a loss on this one, but that's that's all right, I guess we'll say. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'll try again. I don't think I will because, honestly, I think that deserves an eight, so uh, we'll stay tuned. So, guys, next card here. This one was the moneymaker. This one, um, I don't know. I, I was just so pumped. So we got a Camo Refractor, Tom Brady, PSA freaking nine. So this is a pop one, none higher. It was prior to this. It was an eight if you recall again from the video. So funny enough, this is the only one that I had bought myself on eBay. Um, the rest I graded uh, myself and sent off. So this one I bought already graded, looked really nice. I really didn't see much. There was slight scratching down here. Um, and then the corners were a little white, but like off of my experience of grading, that usually gets you a nine, not an eight. So this is one where I bought, you know, I saw the listing, I saw why it was an eight or why, you know, it, it did get an eight. And I thought that could be a candidate to try again. Um, so when I opened it up too, it happened to have smudges, fingerprints. So I, I really wiped that off. Um, and I don't know if I'll show that in the video, but I just took a microfiber, wiped that off and sent it back and got a nine. And this is, again, I would say good for UPSA because I think this is the correct grade. I don't think it was an eight. Um, and I'm, it's funny, I'm saying good for UPSA. They should have had it right the first time. But then again, again, I know on this one, I got smudges off. There was fingerprints all over. I don't know if that affects the grade. I, I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, so this is a nice, nice card. And the cool part is I already have a Peyton Manning of this card and a nine. So out of 10, Peyton Manning and Tom Brady now complete, which is, um, again, awesome. If you follow me on Instagram, you see me post, you saw me post this already. So uh, yeah, really cool pairing there. Next, we have two other nines that I graded myself. Um, this one did, again, get a nine. So this is the only game refractor, numbered out of 100. Um, and yeah, I, I, I still feel so strong that this card's clean as hell. I mean, I took it out of the case, you know, after I snapped it. I don't see anything. I mean, again, I, I am not an expert, but truly, I mean, the corners are sharp, um, no print lines, just super nice card. I don't know, this one, I might go for three since I saw that it works and it is possible. I think that's a big takeaway here. I didn't know additionally, you know, at the beginning, can you still get away with snapping and regrading? Because I heard they had this new Genement um, company they had bought where they can, you know, imprint the cards and know which ones have been sent before. But clearly you can regrade. So I, I think I might try again on some of these. I'm not worried about this one becoming an eight because again, it's so clean. We shall see. All right, next we have the other nine. I did again get a nine. Um, we still have two more cards, just FYI. But I did again get a nine. Um, so overall we went one, well, well, one for four and an improvement, one for four and a downgrade, um, which is kind of interesting. But honestly, for like 15 bucks, um, I think it's worth it and was worth trying. So I, I may do it again if I get a really clean card. I'm not sure. Um, I think this does open the door to buying lower grade cards. Like again, if I see a card that's an eight rare Tom Brady 
and I grab it. Um, I think it'd be nice to kind of try again if I'm not seeing major issues because clearly it does work and it is possible. Um, but you guys be the judge. You let me know. Is this is this something you would ever try? Do you think it's worth the risk? I think for $15 it is. If I was paying $50 or getting upcharged every time, which I didn't in this order, I probably wouldn't. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I think the next video I'm going to put out, guys, I do want to dive into like what does this mean for me as a collector knowing that you can grade cards with PSA, grade again, get a different grade. Um, because I'm sitting here, honestly, after getting this order back, I'm a little like unsure of how I want to approach this moving forward. It almost tells me like buying PSA 10s at a huge premium might not be worth it if they aren't in good condition is the key thing. Um, because I still do want 10s, but if I can see an issue, like um, again, you know, with this Bowman Chrome, if this was happened to be a 10, and I could see a little mark here. Do I buy the 10? I don't think so anymore. Um, but, you know, right, like if I get another example, like that camel where it's clean and then in the eight, I think you grab that and try again. I think that might be something I do in the future. Uh, so yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you haven't subscribed already, please do feel free, and I'll catch you in the next one.